Hey everybody, so I've got something that's kind of new, but kind of not. Um, so it's a box that I have subscribed to before, and then um, I canceled it for a while, and then I decided to rejoin. And one of the big reasons that I decided to rejoin, um, other than I've just kind of been updating my subscription boxes and I canceled a few and I'm looking for a couple of new ones to add on um, other than just kind of being in that mindset of just kind of updating my rotation of subscription boxes um, I decided to rejoin with this one because the box for that month was Germany themed hence the hat and the dirndl top um, so that box is Universal Yums, um, and funnily enough, I don't know if funnily is a word, I don't think it is, funny enough, the first box that I ever got from Universal Yums was from Germany, and I think that was their very first box, if I'm not mistaken. I think, like, a few years ago, when I joined Universal Yums, I think I got in on their first box. And uh, I think, I think I did. Anyways, anyways, enough rambling. So this is actually from January. We're now into February. Hopefully the snacks are still good. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they have tons of preservatives. I'm looking for the knife that I brought over here so that I can open this box. And I have no idea what I did with it. Okay, we're gonna improvise. Improvise? Improvise. We're gonna improvise. And I love this sticker. So this box, oh sorry, these yums traveled all the way from the land of poets and thinkers. And it's got a sticker on it with like German landscapes. Like you've got the old village looking things. That's probably supposed to be Neuschwanstein Castle, which I've been to. Um, and I think that's supposed to be the Brandenburg Gate. So, yeah, very cute. I'm going to cut into it now. So I can get some snacks. And we shall see if any of them are familiar to me. Um, since I canceled my Universal Yum subscription, um, we've been to Germany, which you would know if you saw the little blog that I did, vlog, whatever. Um, and so we, uh, we went into a, it's like the same freaking convenience store throughout the whole country because we were on a tour bus and so our tour bus had to get gas every day to drive us around the dang country. And so we'd stop in the convenience store and, you know, take our potty breaks and, and you know buy some snacks if we wanted so we had a chance to try a few different snacks and I did find one that was my favorite actually I discovered two that were my favorites but um, one of them I think is in this box based on a kind of a spoiler hint that they did on Facebook I think it might be in this box so I'm very excited for that so, we've got a nice little poster um, that says, Welcome to Germany, and it gives you a rundown of some of the famous, more famous cities, Berlin, Hamburg, Cologne, Frankfurt, Munich, and Weimar. Um, I've been to all those places except Weimar, so that's very cool. And then games on the back, oh, I think it shows the snacks on the back. So let's not look at that. And then a nice, like, catalog thing. I think that's new. Well, new since I've rejoined, anyways. So um, I think it has, it shows the snacks in here, so I'm not going to look at that right now. But um, let's dig in. All right. So since I rejoined, um... I noticed a change in their subscri the way they do the subscription, I guess. Um, there used to be two choices. 
So you can get like a smaller box or a bigger box. And now you have three different choices. So I got the middle of the road. Um, and I can't remember, I want to say it comes with six to eight or maybe more than that. I'm not sure. But it's the middle one. It's the middle of the road. So, um, anyways, I'm talking a lot. Let's just look at what we've got. Noofles! Schinken und Käse. That means ham and cheese. Schinken und Käse. Ham and cheese. Um, that sounds interesting. Knuffels. Uh, they look like maybe some corn. They kind of smell hammy. Okay, so that's what they look like. They kind of look like waffle fries. They definitely smell hammy. Oh yeah. Oh, those are definitely hammy and very salty. They're not bad. But probably not my favorite. Okay, moving on. Sweetles! So this is the one that I was thinking was going to be in the box, but I think it's a different brand. Um, so these are basically like Funyuns. And they are delicious. Except the ones that I had, I don't remember the brand. Um, but they were like less salty than Funyuns, which was good for me. Anyways. Oh, these are little. The other ones that I had were like Funyun size. These are like miniature size. They taste about the same as the other brand that I had. Mm -hmm. They're also less salty, which is good, because at my age I gotta watch my sodium. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This little bag is gonna be gone in no time. <laughs> okay, moving on. Mmm. Curly. Peanut classic. I have not had these. I'm intrigued and also a little scared. Oh, they're very peanutty. So they're just little, again, like little puffed corn snacks. That taste like peanut butter. Which is, it's not bad, it's just odd. Because when we have snacks, like, you don't expect it to be peanutty. We don't have a lot of, like, like our junk food isn't really peanut flavored. Like, we have peanuts and peanut butter, and that's it for our snacks. So it's kind of unexpected. but not bad, but not necessarily good either. <laughs> okay, palate cleanser, hold on. Okay, now it looks like the remainder is a bunch of sweets. So, um, I'm not like really big on sweets. I mean, you know, every once in a while you gotta have a little sweet something. Um, so I do like that they have like savory snacks and not just a bunch of candy. Marzipan stolen. Mm. Okay, that looks pretty good. Like, because mm, I don't think I'm going to eat the whole thing right now, but I do want to try it. Let's try it. Why not? Ugh. That's what it's here for, right? So, okay, that's what it looks like. Who knows how long ago this thing was baked. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells like those, um, those danishes. 
。哦。That is really good. It doesn't really have fruit in it, other than like it's got orange peels and lemon peels. And then it's got, it's filled with marzipan, which is like an almond paste, basically. So that's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna cover that up and eat it later because I'm not gonna eat the whole thing right now. Oh, what do we have? Some chocolate bars. Choco Monk Hedgehog Slice? What? What? And why is it in English? Oh, not all of it is. It's in English and German. Okay. Full Milch Schokolade. Kalter Hund. Okay. Maybe my German is rusty, and a little bit of it is, but I still remember the basics. Kalterhund means cold dog, but they're saying it means hedgehog slice. So, I'm really confused. Also, what does it mean to be hedgehog? It looks like it's got cookies in it, little pieces of cookie. Um, the ingredients are off the witch. So we've got sugar, cocoa butter, milk powder, wheat, palm oil, tapioca, starch, sunflower seed oil, glucose fructose, salt, and yes, I am reading this in German and reading it out loud in English. So, um, yeah. Oh! <laughs> right below it, it's in English. <clears throat> okay, so... Milk chocolate with cookie pieces. Hey, my translation was right, though. Of course it was. All right, let's open this puppy up and see what a hedgehog slice is. It's uh, milk chocolate with cookie pieces. So it from the back, like it looks like a crunch bar, like with the crisped rice. Let's just break off a little piece. Ah. Not too shabby. Mmm. Okay. You can definitely taste the little cookie pieces in there. Very good. Ooh. So we've got another chocolate bar from the brand Choco Monk. Um. And I gotta say that logo is like a little bit uh, borderline racist. Maybe that's just my imagination. Anyways, so white chocolate with poppy seed. Interesting. I'm not gonna open that one right now. Um, what is this? Himbear raspberry cream chocolate. Break it into pieces. So, um, chocolate with raspberry cream. I bet that's delicious. And citrona waffle. So it's those wafer cookies with, um, citrus. Those are probably good. I want to try one of these. Oh, except the packaging. The packaging! Auf uh, uh, well, auf Okay. So that means open here. Um, no, it doesn't. They lied. Oh, 
broken in half, but that's perfect. Oh yeah. I like these. As they're light and crispy, and that citrus is refreshing. Those are good. Mmm. Mm hmm. Man, I still got quite a few things in here. The Ritz Mandolin. What does that mean? Wait. Mandolin or hazelnuts, right? No, they're not. And Laisin and Mandon to get mit Gendu her hazelnut milk chocolate on full milk chocolate. Mandon or almonds. I knew it was a type of nut. Almonds coated with Gendu her hazelnut chocolate confectionery flavor. That sounds really interesting. I'm gonna try that. Maybe. So it's a little nugget covered in powdered sugar. I think there's an almond in there. It's like all chocolate. <laughs> It's not just straight chocolate, it's like, it's got a little, I don't know, maybe it's the hazelnut. Um, so there's a little bit of almond in there. <laughs> Alright, those are pretty good. I'm gonna get palate cleanser. <sighs> My cup I got from the Sacramento Zoo that I've had for months and months. Okay, so we're down to the last few. Woo! Sunrise! Crunchy noose! So, puffed rice and cereal and nuts. Okay. So we've got two of them. Um, so hazelnuts, crisped rice, cornflakes, and puffed rice in milk cream with milk chocolate or covered in milk chocolate those are probably really good I'm like done with sweets for right now so I'll try those later and we've got some hard candies it looks like in a yum bag Exclusive to Universal Yums. How cute is that? <sighs> okay. Uh, Mr. Blubber. Rosa Glückstaller. Oh, it's a, a Lucky Horseshoe. So we got a couple of those. Um, oh, it says it's fizzy. Fizzy, fruity, fresh. They kind of look like Alka-Seltzers. Okay. Ooh, we got quite a few of those. Uh, that looks like Spanish. <laughs> Maracuja. Um, I don't know, some little candy. So we got four of those. Okay, cool. So let's look at our little, um our little magazine here so oh it talks about places in Germany um, I've been there Rotenberg uh, I've been there Norschweinstein Norschweinstein Castle I've been to the Brandenburg Gate haven't been to the Black Forest like well we kind of Drove through it, like, on our way to Neuschwanstein Castle, but we didn't, like, go, like, deep into the Black Forest. I'd like to go back and do that. Ooh, trivia! 
Which of the following drinks originated in Germany? Sierra Mist, Gatorade, Minute Maid, or Fanta? Probably Fanta. The German government has legal control over baby names, house colors, heel heights, pets' weights. I think it's heel heights because of the cobblestones or something like that. Where are the answers? Because I'm really curious <laughs> if I'm right. Oh shit. It's baby names. Um, according to German law, a person's sex must be obvious by their first name. If a baby's name doesn't comply, the government can and will refuse it. Since reapplying can be very expensive, parents usually opt for traditional names like Maria and Maximilian. Wow. That's a little crazy, Germany. That's a little crazy. Okay, so I'll finish doing the trivia by myself. You guys don't want to watch me do that. So then it tells you the products that are in the box. And so um, since mine was like the middle box, there are probably going to be some things in this catalog that I didn't get in my box. Unless they do a different catalog for each box. I don't know. Maybe they do. Um, I think they do. Because I think I... Yeah, I've gotten everything that's listed in this catalog. So maybe they do a different catalog for each box. That's cool. They are moving on up. Um, and then... Tells you some like festivals in Germany. My nose is like I'm having some sinus issues, so I apologize. Oh, schnitzel. You guys, schnitzel is the best ever. That was like our first meal when we got to Germany. We had schnitzel and it was fantastic. Maybe it was because we had just gotten off the plane and we were hungry, I don't know. But anyways, so that is the Germany box from Universal Yams for the month of January. Um, it's the middle box. I don't know what they call it. Like, when I first subscribed years ago, it was like the Yum box, and then you got the Yum Yum box. So, I don't know if it's Yum box, Yum Yum box, and Yum 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 box. I don't know. But this is the middle of the road one. It has quite a few goodies in it. And, um, I can't remember how much it was exactly, but it was definitely worth the money, I can tell you that, however much it was. Um, probably around $20. I will do some research, and I will put it in the description box below this video so that you can have more information, because I obviously didn't look it up very well before I started this video. I was just excited to tear into this. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I should actually have my February box here pretty soon. So, there will be, hopefully, two Universal Yums videos available for your viewing pleasure on YouTube this month. And, uh... Actually, they did provide a clue to next month's box. But actually, I think that I already know what it is because I think they said it on Facebook. I think it's Italy. Next month, we celebrate love of all kinds. Love for spouses, crushes, and yums that we find. From 300-year-old cookies, once made in a churchyard, to famous triangle chocolates, prepared to fall hard. The triangle chocolates I'm thinking is uh, Toblerone. Is that Italian? I thought that was Swiss. I don't know. Anyways, we'll find out for sure in about a week when I get my new Universal Yums box. So this one was from Germany for the month of January. I'm going to stop rambling now. Thank you for watching. Bye.